Wizards Tower, uh, the local game stores that are involved are the Wizards Tower, Gaming Kingdom, Out of the Box, and the stop that we're at right now is uh, Game Breakers. Game Breakers is moving, but they're not moving far. In the same plaza, they're moving two stores down and taking over three spots, so they're more expanding than anything. And holy mm. smokes, they jumped right into that match. That Here was... we go. Yeah. Man, they're not getting off. around. This is this is the last <laughs> round. We're they're trying to get top four. Quali 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 try to qualify. Yeah. So. And opening hand on is it is it side is actually not terrible. I you like have lots both of removal. hands. Uh, I it's like a lot of removal. Yeah, and there's a lot of creatures on the sack side. So I'm excited. Yes. I wanted to watch sack side. I tried to pick some uh, ones we haven't watched yet. Yeah, thank you, Sweet and Salty. Uh, Racto Sack is a keep. They're both going to keep, and Sacrifice right. is going first. So we'll switch over to their screen. Because I oopsed. There we go. Yeah. Definitely going to frostbite this squad because it's going to get out of control real quick. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. And did you see that? There's two books as avatars. <laughs> They are our rivals. <laughs> so now they can. It's hard to read this again. game. So I think our yeah, is a player just has removal, removal, dig, portal, and then dragon. So their hand's not terrible. They can no, get away with. No, it's not terrible. Winning. Yeah. No, it's not terrible at all. All three lands. Uh, I think I would take the faceless haven. Exile the snow. Ooh. I would take the Faceless Haven. I would exile bottom the... the... Bottom the... Exile the Fable Passage. Play the Fable Passage. Say go. Why would you take the Fable Passage? That way you can shuffle your deck. Exactly. I love oh, that. Oh, Damage couldn't be prevented, so protection doesn't work. Oh, oh. thank you. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait. I forgot thank my confused you. face. <laughs> Yeah. Thanks, chat. Thanks, chat. <laughs> Ten minutes later. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks, chat. <laughs> Why couldn't it be prevented? Something was played. Yeah. Oh, so questing now beach. They can... Questing beast can't be damage can't be prevented. Right. Right. So protection doesn't work. So they can fort now. Our player, our visit player, can foretell something. Fire prophecy in a land. Draw a card. Fire, uh, fire prophecy here is really good. Um, they'll I get guess. rid of them. Rankle, yep. but they have another rankle. The Ooh, okay. But they'll get rid of the land. Draw a card. Oh, there's a blocker for days right there. So they, if they tap out for. The new card. Sorry, Joe. I, I get all excited over these new cards. I really feel like we should have known the questing beast thing. Kind of disappointed. Yep. <laughs> questing beast is a thing. So they're going to discard the Opus and draw. Okay. Raisin Bar was not terrible. So five mana, they can go. They have a blocker for days now. Right here. And tra create a treasure token, which they can actually uh, petty theft the rankle to their hand. Well, like is rankle haste? Does haste and flying, or is yeah. it haste yeah. and haste? Yeah. So even if they get rid of rankle, rankle may have haste, but it'd be attacking into a three four. Yes. And Fiend Artisan, there's your uh, dig for yeah. everything. Does it does it trigger as it attacks or only if it deals damage? Only if uh, it deals damage. It deals damage. Right. Yeah. Which is so the petty effect. theft. Oh, they're definitely petty theft the Artisan. That's, that's too the right bad. call. It is the right call, but that's too bad. I wanted to see him dig. So now he can... Now they can play the land. They could... For, uh, take an extra turn. Play Goldspan Dragon. So they have plenty of options here. So I think what they're going to do is 
Bolt Spent Dragon Into attack. Because now they have four mana and to oh, two mana. They have four uh, mana. Or two mana, but they can sack the treasure for four. Both of them? They can sack both both treasures for four mana. Hmm. So they can play... Now they can sack one treasure if they want to, but they tap it. Let's tap and sack. So they keep... Oh, which one did they keep? keep? A, I think they kept the... Hmm. I think they put the spell back on their... Uh, back into their library. I would just like to point out that this is one of the first times I know for sure that a female is playing in our tournament. Oh my god, that's amazing! Yep. You know for sure, for sure? Well, her pitcher, Nadine's pitcher, is a girl. Yeah, I saw that, but I wasn't sure. I mean... I could be wrong. Yeah. But either way, so I mean, they... that's amazing. I think more girls so should play can... in our tournament. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Well, they Keep block with the... Ass. <laughs> So do they have crush bone crusher is fine so it gets rid of the rankle getting rid of the oh, rankle is really important ooh, ooh. they can take turns for days oh turn after turn they can take yeah. two turns deal four damage this game is over is that the epiphany card yeah it's epiphany epiphany take an extra turn attack with the dragon create another treasure token and attacking for six. And the next turn, the Opus. Yeah, this game is over. Over like Rover. So he gets to take two turns. Yep, and then they have Opus this turn. They can cast two, four, six. Yeah, they can cast Opus this turn. Oof. And then, oh, they is have Bone, bone Crusher, Crusher? anyway. Bone Crusher. And they have, and they have Bone Crusher. Oh, oh bone crusher. that's a good one. I'm interested to see what Sacrifice brings in as a sideboard. So, I guarantee there'll probably be a lot more removal uh, on the is it side. Yeah. So I think I think more of the uh, fire, more fire prophecies. They could take an Archon War. If they wanted anymore? to, but I think it's going to be more more removal. A Cronin War. Yeah. But I, they're gonna bring in more removal. They go down a uh, the look at the top three card. A rolling vortex. I think a card like that would be good in this matchup. Is Joe Not casting really. anything without paying mana, or you just want to use it for the dealing one every upkeep? That would well, be more for that would be more for the salt time matchup. Well, just no, the ultimatums. It's. Not only that, like he's got big casting spells. He's got taking turns in Epiphany. He's got Magna Opus, right? Like that deals him five damage every time he casts it. But if he has the mana to cast it, then that's not an issue. So it's just more to shut down the Ultimatum decks. Ultimatum decks and also more for control matchups. Opening hand for is it is it's not keep. You have a dig card. You have a you have two pieces of removal. Duress. Everyone needs to see the new duress. All right. Uh, Oops. Bit of a slow. So now they can tack in for one. If this gets fire prophecy, then they're gonna create a one. They'll use the use the ability to grant another squad out. I'll be right back. All right. I'll be right here. <laughs> so they create another 1-1. One, one. They attack in for two this turn. I think they're not pressured too, too much yet. Probably is waiting to... Ooh, okay. The rest is going to probably take a prophecy or a stomp. Or Bone Crusher Giant. Probably Bone Crusher or Prophecy. It's 
hard to say because the probably either they take, it doesn't matter because if they take a prophecy, they'll get stopped. The creature will get stopped. But in response, they can search out and get another uh, squad. Um, we take the extra turn. I yeah, take this the is, extra turn. Well, they can't take actually they can't take the bone crusher giant. So it's either prophecy, um, either prophecy of the extra turn or the melee. What's the blue red one? Oh. Uh, that's the look at the top three: yeah. one to hand, one to bottom, one to excel. I would take the extra turn because that's what just killed me. Yeah. No, he's gonna take the dig card. And now they can stomp a creature. Which in response they will pay to to get another whisper. Did they take Elrun? Looked away. What's that? Did they take the Epiphany? No, they took the uh, dig. So now they have a four or three predator. Ooh, that's gonna be a problem card to get rid of. What does it do? Uh. Whenever a creature, I think it's whenever it becomes tapped. Let me just see here the predator here. Predator. Um, when it becomes tapped, I, I exile the one target creature from a graveyard, put a counter on it, and then sack another creature. He gains indestructibility in a turn. Tap it. So they would have to have three pieces of removal to get rid of. From any graveyard? <laughs> cool. Yep. That card's pretty wild. Yep. Brought it up for the so, chat to see the card you guys yes. were talking about. Yeah, Predator is going to be a problem for is it player. Uh-huh. Because they do have two points of removal, but they have two creatures. I guess the best thing you want to do is try and bounce it. They can bounce. I think bounces is probably the only thing you can do. Or effectively block it. Yes. But then they would have to sack a creature to give it indestructible. So it still lives. But oh. when it becomes tapped, they exile a card. That means it gets plus one, plus one. Mm -hmm. Heartless sacking the dragon here is really good. It yeah. basically gives you the opportunity to tack into nothing. Yes, but now they have to sack a creature, tap the predator, and when it becomes tapped, they exile a target card from a graveyard, put a counter on the. So that's going to be a problem. Yeah, he's got to figure out a way. Player. Of... Yeah, absolutely. All this right, is... this might actually. This is a little... actually. All right, Goldspad Dragon is not a problem. Now they can really attack in for eight. I would still do it though. You want to put as much pressure onto him. Yeah. Make, turn it into a race. Yep. And I think our is a player can outrace them. Yeah, but I think Prophecy, the 1 1, might do it, but in response, they can sack the Predator, sack it to the Predator, get a plus one, plus one counter on it, give it indestructible, and then get rid of a problem card. Mm. Predator Legendary? No, it's not. No. They can stack. Mm -hmm. So oh. they will sack the predator. Village writes the pre village writes the creature. Draw two, okay. Not horrible, but you really no. wanted uh no, something So they're gonna take four from the gold span dragon. They just the they, they, could. they just don't want Jun Sack. They just don't want the sacrifice deck to get into uh sorry, the user deck to get into Epiphany range. Because once that happens, yep. the race becomes Lights very out. difficult. Yeah. Yeah. A Wolf Strider, mm -hmm. there's a sack outlet right there. That's a great sack outlet. Yes. So now he has two sack outlets. So we can tack for four. Sack the goat to the predator. Put a counter on something. So attacks for five and has indestructible at the end of turn. 
but I think they want to keep it untapped. Ooh, okay. Well, they're yeah. gonna try to reset for. They're gonna <laughs> attack for six. But they can. But they can prop. Ooh, okay. So artisan may be another issue too. They have a bunch of sack outlets. They can search for everything. So they could prophecy something, but then I think hmm, if you prophecy now, um, it could be sacked in response. Mm -hmm. What are they, they going to sack? Me? What are they going to prophecy though? Um, like the Wolf Rider? I have a, that's what I was going to say. But but now they have two extra turns. So now they actually. Can do everything here so they can actually attack with the gold spy dragon get a treasure token oh, take an extra four, turn yeah and two extra turns well they don't they won't have enough land they have two treasure tokens that tap for two mana they sack everything yeah see. Great two four one once but on the next turn, they won't have enough mana to cast another 50. Mm -hmm. So, like, this is it. But they have a frost, but, but they also know they have frostbite and prophecy. So they can probably. Frostbite yeah, isn't they... turned on, or does Faceless Haven turn frostbite on to make it three damage? Uh, they have three mana. So they have frostbite is on. Frostbite's nice. online. I don't know what that noise is. It's Joe's phone. That'd be my phone going nuts. Going His chat up. is blowing up. <laughs> what chat? I guess the chat on his phone. The, the no, the jank chat's blowing up. I don't oh. see anybody talking in the jank chat. Come on, talk it up, jank chat. <laughs> talk it up. By the way, exclamation point BO3 Cup. If you want to enter in to win a pack of Aporia promo. We'll be giving it away after this round. Man, this has turned out to be a grudge match, eh? The best. Mm -hmm. It's so tough. You could just attack with everything. So what does he do? He activates Faceless Haven and has Bone Crusher Giant. So he blocks the two biggest things. He gets in with one damage. One plus that is five, six. Yeah, they have nine. They have no way to uh, just attack with the dragon and the artisan, and then play the predator. Maybe it's nine if he doesn't block. If he doesn't block, but he's going to block, and then he'll lose his bone crusher giant. And or faceless haven, depending what? on what. Yep. Ooh, okay, uh, that just that changes the game a little bit. Are those snowlands, all of them? Uh, uh, except yes. for the pathway. Yeah, except so he can't even activate his faceless haven. Oh, no, he, he does. Can't. He can't activate the. He can't, but he can. Good call. At least frost, but frostbite's online. Good call. Frostbite is online. Yeah, frostbite's online. And what is the? Artisan do? Forget. Never mind, I pulled the book. It's actually pretty good. He can uh, you can dig through his deck to look for bigger threats. Mm. Yes. So it's more like a you can dig you can uh sack say the wolf strider find a four drop. I think it's four or five I think it's one more. Just gotta double check here. Pay sack, um, X or less. They can sack a goat, pay at whatever, pay X and whatever, and then that way you can dig for whatever threat he wants. Yeah. It's plus one, plus one for each creature card in your grave. Copy their green or black and X. Sacrifice a creature, sure 
Search your library for a creature card with a conferred amount of a cost of X or less. Put okay, it into the battlefield, then shuffle your library. All right, so he's going to deal three damage to the Predator. And they're going to sack a creature, the Wost Rider. But then in response, they can Frostbite Wost Rider. I wonder if there was a way to protect the uh, predator. Actually, I think this is a game. He still got blockers. Oh, I see, because he only has he has six yeah, power in the air. This is game. This is game. Oh wow. That is game. That is. Like Joe. Is yeah, Joe. Win? Joe's gonna win it. Joe's got it. So now he can just swing in for six. Pretty yeah. much. And he could activate Faceless Save in here. Doesn't have three snowlands. He does. Oh, now he does. Yeah. Now he does. But he's just attacking the air for six, nothing, because nothing in the air has, uh, you have nothing that has the. Uh, Reach. Reach. Yeah. Yep. I think I would have attacked I think that was the one. just because. Okay. Deals three damage, one. Oh, yes. See, he should have activated Faceless Haven and attacked with Bone Crusher Giant. Oh. Then he would have won. Now he's gonna lose. Yeah. He's gonna lose. No, 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 no. no. He's got a no extra turn. Oh, extra turn. oh. Epiphany is gonna win it for him. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Game. That's game. Not... That was amazing. That and was I hate really that not card. with the win. Epiphany sucks. 